Hey everybody, it's Stephanie back with Rock the Spot Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. So today I will be showing you how to apply this Glitter Hippo Glitter Infinite Holographic Micro Glitter in various colors onto a previously resined rock that is still a little bit tacky but almost cured. This is the effect that it gives, so stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. Here's one rock that I have previously resined. It's still a bit tacky, not all the way cured. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Uh, you can see that I did not uh, paint the rock black before I resined it like I have previously in my other videos. I do wanna just test out the coverage of this stuff to see uh, if, it, if it works or if I have to color it black. So let's start. I just pour a little bit of the glitter onto the resined rock and I just swirl it around with my finger. You can see that was probably a little bit too much glitter than I needed for this little rock. And so you just rub it on. And the coverage is actually pretty darn good. The rock here obviously was brown and this glitter is brown, so that probably helps. But you can see it's super easy. I just cover the parts of the rock that you can see when you're looking at the top. And that's about it. And then I just take a brush and wipe off all the excess glitter. You can see that you can still see some of the rock and if you really, really want that super, super holographic texture effect, you can take your finger and push the glitter into the resin and it will stick harder. This glitter is 1 360th of an inch big. So it is micro glitter, they call it. It's a lot, lot smaller than a lot of the other chunkier glitters that they offer. So let's move on to the next color. I would like to try this aqua color. So here we go. Just pour it on like before. And I'm pushing it into the resin. So you can see on the sides where I touched the rock more, it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, as tacky anymore because I had my fingers on it. So you're gonna need to come and push the glitter onto the side to make it stick. If you're really careful and don't touch the sides of your rock, it's not gonna do that. I'm sure if you let your rock set up a little bit less, maybe like three hours before you're allowed to touch them, it will probably be a little bit more sticky and stick a little bit better than this is right here. Okay, on to the next color. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next color. Is this? Ooh, periwinkle color. I'll name all the colors at the end of the video and give you a shot of them. These little rocks are so perfectly round. So awesome. Thank you, Renee Freeland Art Shack, for these awesome rocks. These are so pretty. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's go on to the next color. So, 
got this rose gold color. Let me wipe this excess glitter off my hands. Got this rose gold color. We're gonna try it on this rock here. It's really pretty. Just wipe the excess off with a brush. If you see some spots you missed, just go back and press some extra glitter on there with your finger and it covers it up. And go back, wipe that excess off and you're good. So the effect that I get with this uh, glitter is very very similar to the nail nail powder that I use so this nail powder is also I think it's a little bit finer than the glitter that I'm using today but the effect is very very similar I actually think I like the glitter effect better than I like the nail powder effect because it's a chunkier glitter and it radiates in different light a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the black one, sprinkle it on. So far these have been having very good coverage for not painting my rocks black first. I haven't really been able to see the rock too much through the glitter. So in comparison with the nail powder, I would say that this is a way better bargain. Just uh, the nail powder is about, I mean, if you're lucky, you can find some good quality ones on Amazon, about four of those little pots that I showed you for about $10. So in each one of those little pots, there is a quarter of a gram of nail glitter and given it does go a long way uh, you get a lot more for your money when you buy this holographic glitter from the solar color dust website you get 20 grams of this glitter for three dollars I mean that's an amazing deal so let me show you is that my last color? I think it is. So let me just go ahead and name the different colors. Helium Balloon, or Helium Balloon, I should say. Salem, Turquoise Tortoise, Rose Gold, and Coffee Shop. Uh, my thoughts on the product is that it works very well. Um, the coverage is excellent, as you can see from all the different colors that I've done today. I didn't even base coat these rocks with anything, and you can't even see the rock through the glitter. Oop. So I really, really like it. I would say that I, I would suggest buying this stuff over this nail glitter although it is a very pretty effect this is more economical especially if you're painting kindness rocks like I am uh, you do or you should put a sealer over this before you paint it or before you dot on it just because it is very easy to scratch off I want to show you a rock that I was sealing yesterday and I got the scratch right in the middle of it because I wasn't being careful. So just 
that is a word of warning. Be very, very careful when you're sealing these and when you're painting them. If you do not, uh, if you don't seal them first, <clears throat> it can scratch off. So I just want to put that in there. Thank you very much for watching. You can find me on Instagram and on Facebook at Rock to the Spot. Uh, go ahead and let me know what you think of my videos. Do you have any suggestions on new videos? I'd like to hear them. Leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe. Thanks very much.